this video is about poison ivy. Uh, this is one example of poison ivy, and this is another example of poison ivy. And also, I have one more example of poison ivy. Um, the thing is with poison ivy that um, there are many ways of treating it. And I eventually ended up using nothing but apple cider vinegar. And the reason that I did that was because um, one thing is like um, I used a whole bunch of other things first. I used like tea tree oil and I used uh, lavender and eucalyptus oil and um, rosemary oil and a whole bunch of other um, things. I use baking soda, uh, coffee grinds, I put banana peels on it, um, and all of those things I didn't really do too well. Um, I've always used um, lye soap, I always wash things off heavily with white lye soap and that's been my mainstay for many, many years. And, um, so the first thing I usually do is get some lye soap and then wash it off with that, or, or fells nap or so if what Walmart sells nowadays um, and um, but after you do that then you try other things uh, one article uh, video that I saw that I really liked uh, was somebody that was showing um, that he didn't care what kind of soap you use and he was claiming you had to have a rag to wash it off and um, and he said to do it that way. And I tried that idea, but it actually spread a little bit on me uh, using his rag idea. So I don't know if I'm real crazy about that or not. I do like the, the washing it off with lye soap, but uh, other than that, I don't know. As far as the, the apple cider vinegar, it turns out um, the apple cider vinegar turned out to be a pretty good idea. Um, one thing I didn't like about baking soda is that baking soda doesn't allow it to breathe. And so it clogs everything up and so it seemed like to me that, that might lengthen the time it takes to heal and also it's it's kind of messy and it's not something you can go out in public and do anything like that the coffee grinds of course you couldn't go out in public in that and you can't walk around carrying a, a banana peel on your on your on yourself it doesn't quite work either um, so some of these things aren't really all that cool the apple cider vinegar is really cool because it just went on and then afterwards it just kind of left a small film and I could go out and do this video. Wow. Um, one other thing I like to do is um, I had been using lemons. I like lemons. The lemons did cause it to uh, bleed a lot and I thought that was real good but it just kept bleeding and bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. something that that causes a problem um, so um, the um, that's really all I have to say on this right now um, about the apple cider vinegar uh, that and the uh, the rice soap those are two that never falls so no water sells those are the two main, mainstays of uh, anything the biggest thing I, is that I, that I don't like uh, the uh, baking powder uh, at all um, you know, because it just blocks the breathing of the thing and so that causes a serious problem with that. Um, anyway, that's all I have to say for the day. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.